Hey guys, I'm Festive Nixinova, and welcome back to another snapshot video. This snapshot is 17W50A, and the snapshot has added a few new cool features. First up, is you can now place maps on the ground and the ceiling. So you can now have really immersive map rooms. And now, can I find the door? Here we go. They have also added some new commands. So, if you do TP player name, you can now use arrows instead of tilders or something. So, TP at P. This will go left, so if I want to go 10 blocks left or 10 blocks right, I can do that. So let's just go 10 blocks to the left. And then this is up or down, so let's go, say, 6 blocks up. And then this is forwards, so we can go maybe six, 6 blocks backwards. And now, there we are. So, this works like this. So if we just go one variable, so this will go three blocks in the direction you're facing. So you can be facing up, it'll still go up, you can be facing down, you'll go down. And still in the direction you're facing, this will go left. So left of the direction you're facing, I can look anywhere, and I'll be going left. And then this, the middle one, is up or down. So in the direction I'm facing, three blocks up, or three blocks down. So this is quite useful if you want, say, a button on a wall somewhere which just teleports, a, or a pressure plate which teleports a player into a random location wherever they're facing. So if you have a pressure plate, say, over here in a map or something, it's like whatever way they walk into it. So you can have maybe two players meet. You can have like one race coming up here and one race coming up here. So when the player runs down, they'll be teleported that way. And when the player runs down here, they'll be teleported that way, just using one command. So this is a pretty useful feature. So yeah, that is basically it, but they have added a few changes. So if you type in a block or item in the search menu, here's wool, as you can see it is white, so if I get a wool out, it now goes grey, which tells you that you can now backspace all of it and start searching for something else. And another change that they've done is ghost blocks have been completely removed. So you can now go into mining without having to worry about finding ghost blocks. So you can just do this on a server and there will not be any ghost blocks. So that is about it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like, comment and subscribe. So yeah, till next time. Bye.